What is Neutron Activation Analysis? Neutron Activation Analysis, or known as NAA, is a sensitive and non-destructive nuclear process used to determine the concentrations of elements in a vast amount of materials. NAA relies on excitation by neutrons so that the treated sample emits gamma ray. It allows the precise identification and quantification of the elements above all of the trace elements in the sample. NAA has applications in chemistry but also in other research fields such as geology, archaeology, medicine, environmental monitoring and even in the forensic science. Next, we will continue with the mechanism of neutron activation analysis. The mechanism of neutron activation analysis begins with the sample being bombarded with neutrons. When the nucleus of a sample atoms capture a neutron, the neutron becomes strongly bounded in the nucleus. This binding releases energy that is shared by the entire nucleus, leaving it in an excited state. The excited nucleus promptly relaxes toward its ground state by emitting gamma rays. The de-excitation of the atom forms a new isotope which is still radioactive. It is unstable to the beta decay. The beta decay process is similar to photon emission. Following beta decay, the excited nucleus emits gamma rays to reach its ground state. Both gamma rays and beta particles can be measured, but beta particles are easier to detect quantitatively since they have mass and charge. A scintillation counter is used to measure the amount of light given off from the sample. Sample vials are placed between two photomultiplier tubes or PMT. PMT are cradled by thick lead to block outside radiation. When the radioactive nucleus undergoes beta decay, it emits a beta particle. As the beta particle travels through the solvent, ripples in the electromagnetic field occur, a result of disturbance in the field. The disturbance decelerates a fast-moving charged particle. In this case, beta particle is decelerated and it releases energy in the form of photons. The photons are emitted in all directions randomly. The system will only count if both PMTs detect photons simultaneously, otherwise any signal is rejected and not be recorded. The density of photons are directly proportional to the incidence light from source. It can be taken to determine the concentration of radioactive sample.